Hi, I'm Ross Poulter. I'm a keeper presenter here at Edinburgh Zoo. Here at Edinburgh Zoo, we look after partula snails, and uh, these snails are one of the rarest animals we have here at the zoo. And just to give you an idea of how rare they are, some of the species that we have here are actually extinct in the wild. Uh, the reasons why they're extinct in the wild is because um, back in 1967, the Polynesian government decided that they would introduce African land snails to the Polynesian people as a food source. And these African land snails soon escaped and rapidly uh, became out of control. And because they reproduce so rapidly and they lay so many eggs, they soon devastated farmland. And the farmers decided that um, something needs to be, to be done. And the agricultural department uh, decided that it would be a good idea if they used a biological control to try and deal with the problem of the African land snails. So what they did was they released uh, a carnivorous snail called Euglandina rosea to Polynesia. But unfortunately, they didn't really pay much attention to the African land snails. Uh, they paid their attention to the Partula snails, which are the endemic snails to Polynesia. And because they were just the right size for the Euglandina, um, they soon um, ate all the Partula. And this is one of the reasons why they became so rare. Okay, well, welcome to the Partula room. This is where we keep our snails. And uh, this is a off show room where people unfortunately can't see the snails at the moment but the environment in here is perfect to keep the snails and we've done very well with breeding our snails whilst they've been kept in this room. Um, in this room we have six species of Parchula and some of them are really rare. In fact all of them except for one species of Parchula are actually extinct in the wild and um, two of the types of Parchula we have here uh, when we got them, we were the only people to have them in the world and they were extinct in the wild. So when we got these two species of Parchula, they existed in just one tank when we got them and that was the world's population in just one glass tank. Uh, one of those species went, uh, went down to one individual and uh, we actually won a Biasa Award for the contribution to conservation breeding for bringing this species back from one individual. And this was the last remaining snail. Okay, so last October 2013, I went out to Tahiti to see where the snails will be going when we send them back. We have a reserve that we've built for these Parchula and it's in fact the smallest uh, wildlife reserve in the world. It's 12 meters by seven meters, and we've planted it with native plants that the partially will normally be found on in the wild. And uh, this includes things like wild gingers and hibiscus and other things. And um, this reserve is, is now ready for the snails. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll be doing that this year. And the money that we raise here at the Royal Zoological Society of Scotland goes into the projects like this, into the wild projects, to help us um, build these reserves and to help fund our trips out there and to put these animals directly back into their native habitats.